And today we're going to take a look at how you can work around certain things like the Blender add-on problems that a lot of you have been talking about in the comment sections and how you can migrate from one version to another without losing any of the add-ons that you've purchased or you've downloaded previously. At the same time, if you're having issues with Blender autosave files, today guys, we're going to take a look at the workaround for all of these things. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So recently we've been talking about a lot of Blender stuff on the channel and you guys have asked a couple of questions that has to do with the file system and how you can move your add-ons from one place to another. And other questions also include how can you find where things are saved, what if you're looking for your autosave files and all that stuff. So how we're going to get started is very very simple. Directly here you would notice I have Blender 2.83 Alpha which is like the current one in Alpha right now and if I just go through and say new we have a simple cube if I come over here you also notice I have the blender 2.82 and you can see this in beta of course these are not yet you know technically allowed for production use but then of course they do get the job done once in a while owing to the features that are coming to them so what I'm going to do is just go back and say new again and say don't save and you also notice that my startup file here is different if I come through and press N you also see that I have a couple of add-ons that I have you know installed here and we've talked about some of them on the channel so in case you want to see the groove and the face builder and maybe the quad remesh you should also check out the channel to see those ones also if you come through and you check out the you know the ones which we have installed here for blender 2.83 you also notice that we have a couple of stuff here like the modeling cloth which we've just covered and you can also take a cool breeze at that one too so how you can do this is very very simple so i'm going to address this right now but before then it's very very necessary to show you guys that if you come over to this section where you have called edit and go over to the preference tab you'll be able to notice that there's a part called the file part now this file part is going to answer the second question before we proceed to the first one so the file part has to do with where the temporary files are saved so if you click here you'll be able to direct blender where to save your temporary files that include you know your autosave files files that you were rendering at the point that got crashed or something else like that all right so all of your temporary files are there most of your temporary caches may probably be there as well so this is also a very good place to look at so if you want to assess this it's very simple to just simply copy this hit the windows key and e e to pop out the windows explorer and directly here you can simply do a ctrl v here and just simply paste and you'll be able to see all of your blender auto save file at the same time some other apps also make use of this same directory and this is one of the places you need to come through in case your file gets crashed or probably just closes for some reason most of the time your files are saved in the temporary folder and it is really really good for you to come check this out first before you proceed to you know restarting the entire project all together from the beginning and another way to get to this point is very simple so in case you're working on a different project on a different you know uh, software application all together you can easily type this press the enter key and it brings you exactly right here so this is how you can find your temporary files so for the guys asking about temporary files this is how you find all of your temporary files practically all of them are stored here so in case you're looking for those this is the first place I would suggest you come through and find before you proceed to something totally different now let's move on to your add-ons so if you come over to your application data which you can locate by going over to your drive your username the username itself by default you may not be able to see this if you want to see this at any point in time you would want to come over to the view and make sure that you have hidden items turned on so if hidden items is checked off or let's say turned off you'll probably not be able to see this so try and make sure you have your hidden items turned on so with your hidden items turned on you can go over to application data and directly in application data once you go through and double click on roaming scroll all the way down to where you find blender foundation you'll be able to see all of the versions of blender that you have installed so if i go inside the 2.82 that we have here and go directly inside scripts add-ons you'll see all of the add-ons that we have for blender right now you can see the ones the exactly the same ones that we have here so if i just simply pop this up you'll be able to see that we also have the one fluent which is installed so you can also see that directly here and if you want this to be in the other version of blender that you have you can just simply copy this and move it over there so for example let's say if i just simply go back to blender go into you know 2.83 you also notice that i have the box cutter and i also have the modeling cloth so i'm just going to copy this so you can simply copy this 
and you know you can go over to the other section and paste this over here you also notice you have a couple of presets and these presets can vary from you know the presets that you've created for previous versions of blender that you have stored so if you have them there you also be able to copy this folder and move it over instead of recreating this preset over and over again at the same time within the configuration you also be able to see your startup preference configuration your bookmarks your recent files configuration you can also copy this and move it to the blender version folder that you want so right now i'm just going to go over here and dive directly in here and i'm going to go over here and dive directly into the script add-ons and simply paste so we copied two different folders which has to do with the uh, modeling cloth and the box cutter so if i come over to this version of blender which we have which is the 2.82 if i come over to this section to the preference tab i would simply hit the refresh button one time all right so just hit the refresh button just to make sure that you have all of your add-ons refreshed and you will notice right now i have this part called the modeling cloth all right so i'm just going to take that modeling cloth there and you can find it has attached itself there and you also notice i have the box cutter here as well and other things you need to know is if you install the same version of blender but let's say a different build altogether all right so i don't know if that makes sense so you're installing let's say 2.82 but let's say it is a Thursday build that you had and you decided to install the Saturday build. What will happen is everything still remains exactly the same way, which is pretty smart. Is it just goes here and it looks at this folder and looks at the script and reloads the same script and reloads exactly what you have here to the next build you download or what build you're working on. As far as you're having exactly the same version, of course, it's just going to reload this. And yes, this is exactly how you can get things going, especially if you're trying to move from one version of Blender to the next without losing files, without losing anything you can simply walk through with these things and get good with them at the same time if you're looking for your you know temporary files exactly how we talked about it is how you can get to find them and i guess this video is quite helpful to a couple of people that have been asking these questions in the community and at the same time in the comment sections and of course if you want to check out other videos that we've talked about that has to do with some of the plugins that we've just shared or some of the add-ons that we've just shared link to all of those is going to be in the description so you can check them out a couple of them are free some are paid and we also have a couple of giveaways for most of the add-ons that we've talked about so you can go check these things out and get good with them and yeah tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section is there certain things i left out are there things that you want to know about the file system and all that stuff and if you learned something from this or you know you like what you see go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace